I don't know if it's because you think, as we are not from your team, we might be less capable. Or in Cindy's case, because she works flexible hours, she isn't capable of pulling her, her share. In Stanley's case, he's in Hong Kong. And sometimes you seem to forget the voice of the phone is actually a real person. One of our colleagues, Tony. I take on board everything you're saying. And I know that it's down to me as, as PM Lee to, to really make this team work, and, and, and no exceptions. So. Just give the same, please. The same respect, the same opportunities. It will be much more inclusive for the team. Can you trust me on this, please? Can we work on this basis? OK, I can work with that. Yeah, Tony. I feel I had to raise this. The situation wasn't working. Look, I'm really glad you have. And I want to ensure that everyone's working to the best of their abilities and they can trust and talk to me, you know, if, if something isn't working. Thank you, Tony. That sounds very good. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye, Sarah. Thanks. Hi, everyone. I know this can be a bit intimidating, but it's a great opportunity for you to make some suggestions on how we can all work better together. I don't mind going first. I actually really appreciate you bringing this up. Tony and I have spoken together privately and believe we cleared the air and got some agreement on how best to work together. I don't know about any one of you, but I was feeling some tensions in the group. And since I've spoken up, I've been feeling much more positive. I have been more productive as a result. Stanley, um, I know it can be hard when you're joining us over the phone um, and not in the same room. 